in one of my areas, we had heard for about a week leading up to this that this message had been circulating that a certain cartel was going to come through and had a list of people they were going to kill. And so everyone should be inside before 10 p.m. for that whole week or they weren't responsible for what happened to them. But they sent a warning. And we'd heard about it and we didn't really worry because we're always in before 10 p.m. But then this one morning we woke up, we had a lot of lessons scheduled, but one of our investigators called and said, my husband's a police officer and he just told me that a lot of people were killed last night and I just think that you should stay home. So we called our district leader who called our mission president who told us that he wanted us to stay in all of that afternoon. And then for about a week and a half afterward, he had the two zones in that major area all go home at 8 p.m instead of 9 p.m. for about a week and a half while things were going on every night and we'd hear about them every day, but we were super safe. And then it was, it calmed down, so then we were just back to normal. We'd hear, oh, in this house two blocks away from the stake center, they killed five people, it was a safe house. And they'd say different things and they killed six people outside of the hospital. But the craziest one was that they'd found tigers in a house in one of the safe houses that they'd used to devour evidence of their crimes. That was the sketchiest thing. They mostly, from what I understand from that experience, they will only go after the people they're looking for unless you're in their way or if you look like the person they're looking for.